Have you or your loved ones been diagnosed with glaucoma? If so, you need to pay close attention to the medications you or your family is taking, as they can worsen glaucoma or even cause glaucoma if you do not have it yet. Many over-the-counter and prescription medications contain warning labels for glaucoma because they can increase eye pressure. In this video, I'll give you a list of commonly used medications, including both over-the-counter and prescription medicines that can cause increased pressure in the eye. For those who are new to the channel, I'm Dr. Audrey Tai, board certified and fellowship trained cataract and refractive surgeon, ophthalmologist, and cornea specialist. Welcome back to Eye Channel by Eye Surgeon. I'm here to bring you the latest information on eye health and medicine. To know which medications can worsen your glaucoma, first, you need to know what type of glaucoma you have. There are two types of glaucoma, open angle glaucoma and angle closure or narrow angle glaucoma. Medications may be safe for one type of glaucoma but risky for another, so it's important to know what type of glaucoma you have. The most common type of glaucoma is open angle glaucoma. There are no warning signs or obvious symptoms in the early stages of open angle glaucoma. As the disease progresses, blind spots slowly develop in your peripheral or side vision. Steroids are the main medicine that can raise eye pressure for patients with open angle glaucoma. Taking steroid drugs in any form, orally, topically on the skin, through an inhaler or IV, can all worsen glaucoma. Steroids applied closest to the eye carry the highest risk, such as eye drops. But drugs taken by mouth or through an IV also carry a significant risk because they enter the eye through the bloodstream. Skin creams and inhalers can also raise eye pressure. Taking steroids at high doses or for long periods of time are more likely to cause eye pressure increases. So make sure to let your ophthalmologist know if you are taking steroids for allergies, joint disease, asthma, autoimmune disorder, inflammatory bowel disease, or any other condition, so your eye doctor can check your eye pressure regularly during your eye exams. The second type of glaucoma is less common but more likely to be symptomatic, and it's called angle closure glaucoma or narrow angle glaucoma. This type happens when someone's iris, the eye muscle that determines our eye color, is very close to the drainage angle in their eyes. The iris can end up blocking the drainage angle. You can think of it like a piece of paper sliding over a sink drain. When the drainage angle gets completely blocked, eye pressure rises very quickly. This is also called an acute angle closure attack. Most patients are not aware that they have narrow angle until they experience an acute attack of sudden eye pain, nausea, vomiting, headache, foggy vision, or seeing halos or rainbows. It is a true eye emergency, and you should call your ophthalmologist right away or you might lose your vision permanently. Many commonly used medicines can be dangerous for people with narrow angle glaucoma. Here is a list of medicines that may cause angle closure attacks in people with narrow angles. Keep in mind that other medications not listed in this video may also cause angle closure glaucoma, so make sure you check with your eye doctor if you have narrow angle glaucoma. Atrovent or Spiriva for asthma or chronic obstructive lung disease. Botox injections used around the eyes. Dayquil or Nyquil, Alka-Seltzer Plus, and other cold or flu remedies containing antihistamines or decongestants. Detrol and oxybutynin for urinary incontinence or overactive bladder. Dilating eye drops used for eye exams. Benadryl, Claritin, Allegra, and Zyrtec for allergy relief and nasal congestion. Somatriptan for migraine attacks. Norflex for muscle spasm and Artane for Parkinson's disease. Scopolamine patches for motion sickness. It can be dangerous if the medicine is accidentally rubbed into the eye. Psychiatric medications such as Prozac, Paxil, Amitriptyline, Tofreno, and Sambota for depression or anxiety. Sulfur-containing medications such as Topiramide or Topamax for seizures or migraine. Acidozolamide or Diamox, Bactrim for urinary tract, skin, or eye infections. Cementidine and Zantac for heartburns. Remember, if you are unsure whether a drug is safe, ask your ophthalmologist or the doctor who prescribed the medication for guidance. And if you experience sudden eye pain, nausea or vomiting, foggy vision, or see halos or rainbows after taking any of these medications, stop taking those medications immediately and call your ophthalmologist or go to the emergency room right away. Both laser peripheral iridotomy and cataract surgery can open up the drainage angle in the eye to prevent acute angle closure attack in people with narrow angles. To learn more about glaucoma and its treatment options, you can check out these two videos. 
and you can check out this video to learn what you can do to prevent vision loss from glaucoma. Thank you for joining me today. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with glaucoma, please share your experience in the comments below. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have learned anything new, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell. Because if you click that subscribe button, you will help give me the opportunity to continue to bring free videos about eye health and eye surgery to the world. Anytime you don't have 10 minutes, you can also watch short fun videos about eye care tips on Instagram at Dr. Audrey Tai. And you can also follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn to learn more about my practice. I look forward to connecting with you there. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video.